Welcome to Tridentlogy. The channel that's all about fascinating facts and discoveries. In this episode, we're going to explore a fascinating and powerful topic, the untapped potential of our gut instinct. Have you ever experienced a strong feeling or intuition that guided you in making a decision or avoiding a potentially harmful situation? This video will dive into the concept of gut instinct and its incredible influence on our lives. We'll unravel the science behind this phenomenon, examining how our bodies and minds process information on a subconscious level. By learning to recognize and trust our intuition, we can make more confident decisions, build stronger relationships, and lead a more authentic and fulfilling life. Whether you've always been curious about the power of gut instinct or you're seeking ways to tap into this incredible resource, this video is for you. How to Leverage Your Intuition In decision-making, leaders who identify as extremely sensitive have greater gut sensations than the majority of the population, but they have also been discouraged from using this sensory input. High sensitivity aids in perceiving, processing, and synthesizing information, especially knowledge about the emotional worlds of others. This means your intuition is stronger than most people's because you're always adding new information to your library of knowledge about the world and yourself. The only difficulty is that you've undoubtedly been conditioned to underestimate your own strength. The good news is that intuition, like a muscle, can be enhanced by deliberate practice. Discern gut feeling from fear. Fear is frequently associated with body sensations of constriction or shrinking. You may feel tight, panicked, or desperate. Fear has a pushing energy, as if you're trying to force something or choosing an alternative because you want to escape a threat, rejection, or punishment. Fear is also governed by self-critical ideas that drive you to hide, comply, or compromise yourself. Intuition, on the other hand, has a pulling energy, as if your choice is guiding you toward your best interests, even if it means taking a risk or moving more slowly than others. This is frequently accompanied by feelings of excitement and anticipation, as well as ease and happiness. Physically, gut feelings cause your body to relax. With intuition, your inner voice is more grounded and wise, much like a good mentor. Start by making minor decisions. Choose an outfit that speaks to you without evaluating too many factors. Raise your hand and speak up in a meeting without censorship. Taking rapid, decisive choices with minor effects gets you used to using your instincts. Starting small reduces emotions of overwhelm and allows you to progressively progress to larger, higher-pressure decisions with increased self-confidence. This method is helpful because it increases your distress tolerance or your ability to emotionally regulate in the face of suffering. Test drive your choices. Decisions may not come easily when you initially start using your intuition. Instead of overthinking things, act it out. Act as though you've chosen option A, such as a new job in a different industry, for two to three days. Examine your thoughts and emotions. Then, for the next two to three days, try on option B, which is to remain on your existing job path. Take note of your reactions at the conclusion of the experiment. Simulating the conclusion might reveal a lot about the outcome you truly desire and the best decision for you. You may also try tossing a coin and seeing how you react to the outcome. Do you feel happy and relieved if heads mean declining a huge deal? Or do you feel fear and dread? Try the snap judgment test. Using quick cognition, also known as thin slicing, allows your brain to make decisions without overthinking and can help improve your faith in your instincts. Try the snap judgment test. Write a question on a piece of paper such as, will taking the promotion make me happy? Below the question, write yes or no. Place a pen nearby. Return to the paper after a few hours and circle your response. It might not be the answer you want, especially if the question is important, but you probably forced yourself to respond honestly. Fall back on your values. What is most essential to you is reflected in your basic values. Freedom, diversity, stability, family, and peacefulness are a few examples. Assume you're upset after a long day at work where nothing went your way. 
Your basic values might help you identify and comprehend the basis of your frustration. For example, maybe you value honesty, and what's causing you stress is that you're not revealing your genuine feelings on a critical matter. You can use your values to check in and gain perspective on the issue. Now take a few moments to consider your top one to three values. When you're faced with a decision, ask yourself, which action or decision brings you closer to those core values? Going within can aid in releasing the underlying tension that causes mental cycles. Remember, your gut instinct is a powerful tool that can guide you towards making better decisions and living a more authentic life. By learning to recognize and trust your intuition, you can tap into a wealth of wisdom and make choices that align with your true. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content on personal development and self-improvement. See you in next video.